I'm Christine. I hope you put on your shoes because this is Shadowhunter TV News. Hello! I'm Christine. How are you doing? It's been too long since we talked about Shadowhunter shit. It has. It's been like more than three videos and it's it's too long. Other people have been casted. We've been getting stills galore. There was a Teaser! So much exciting crap. So much exciting stuff. I'm excited. <laughs> so since the last time we've spoke, we have four new cast members. That's right. Four. Four. The first of those four was Miss Jocelyn Fairchild, aka Clary's mother, aka basically asleep through the entirety of season one. And Jocelyn Fairchild is being played by... Maxim Roy! Her name is Maxim Roy. I'm not sure how one comes up with that name. I can't picture my parents being like, you know what, I'm gonna name my daughter Maxim. Like the magazine with the hot chicks on it. And last name Roy. I feel like Roy is a chosen last name. Maybe this is her stage name? It's such a unique name. It's not like Emrade, like random unique name. It's like two random things smushed together. Like all the shadow on her last name. Take some car, take some stairs, throw them together. Take some light, take some wood, Smack that shit together. Take some fair, take some children, fair child. Take some Maxim, take some Roy Rogers, Maxim Roy. It's a true shadow hunter actress name. Maxim Roy is 43 years old. I think she looks like a great Clary's mom. Ooh, she's from Canada. I don't recognize the names of anything she's been in before, except for a TV series called Defying Gravity. I know that song, Flying High. I know that. I know that song, but I don't think this is that. And she's been on Heartland, which I have heard of, but I don't know what it is. So all in all, cool. I'm happy with her. I loved our old Clary's mom, Cersei from Game of Thrones, but you know, Cersei's doing Game of Thrones. We can't, we can't have her. The next casting we got was for Hodge Starkweather. And for me, this has been the most surprising, shocking casting thus far. I mean, I was a little shocked with Old Spice Guy. I mean, who was it? But when I saw the dude they casted for Hodge, in my mind, I've always pictured Hodge kind of like a Snape, except less greasy, lighter hair, and beaky, kind of hunched over and old. Then I pull up the image of this guy. His name is John Cor. J-O-N-C-O-R. Talk about compact name. That That's like an abreve. John Cor. J-C. J-C. Oh my god, his name is Jace. Anyway, so I'm picturing an old man, and then I type in this name, John Cor, and up comes this guy. <laughs> Attractive. This shit is ridiculous. If he was five years younger, John Core would be playing Jace. Literally, he's only five years older than Jace. He's 30. I always was under the impression that he was in the same class with Jocelyn and Valentine, but maybe he wasn't. Maybe he was younger. Apparently, he was younger. I don't know about 13 years younger, but damn. Damn, that guy's attractive. He's from Toronto. It looks like Hodge appears for the first time in episode two of Shadowhunters. <gasps> I'm so excited, it's coming so soon. <sighs> Sorry, not so soon, January, but so soon. Wait, I don't know if it's January. What if it's not January? What if it's like February? It's just said 2016 and I'm just assuming the first second of 2016 is gonna be Shadowhunters. He's been in Degrassi, I never watched that, but a lot of people did. He's been in Being Erica, never heard that beaver falls never heard of it being human i've heard of that he's been in being human and now he's gonna be in shadow hunters he's gonna look like the same age as the children unless maybe they'll dress him up they'll put some glasses on him put him in a nice little tweed jacket mr professor because he's their professor he's their teacher growing up so if he was their teacher i don't know maybe he's not their professor in the tv series maybe he's just an attractive older man and by older i mean an older brother older brother man who works in the institute the next character we had casted was Raphael. Yeah. Our resident vampire friend. Fret fret front of me. And Raphael is going to be played by Mr. David Castro, who I think most definitely looks the part. All I know about him is his picture as of this second. And he looks like Raphael to me. Raphael didn't even exist in the City of Bones movie. Progress. There he is. 1996. 1996. So he's 18. Oh, he just turned 19. He looks older than he is. David's acting career began at age five when he landed a national SpongeBob commercial. That's the dream. I've always wanted to work with SpongeBob. 
He's one of my idols. Oh, he's gonna be in the pilot and he's also gonna be in the second episode, according to IMDb. He's also been in Are We There Yet? Something called Fugly and 27 Dresses. I'm really satisfied with him. We just keep getting more and more people that I think are gonna be awesome and are super attractive and it just looks so promising. I feel so promised. The last piece of casting news I had today is for Camille Belcourt. I was a little surprised about this casting. She is going to be played by Caitlin Lem. I totally understand. They want to diversify the cast and it'll completely work, but the Camille I picture has always been really pale, super blonde, and red lips, very vampire-y looking. Now, I don't know if Caitlin's gonna dye her hair blonde or if they're just gonna give Camille a completely different look, which they can totally do. She's also Canadian. Everyone is Canadian. She's been in Heartland. She's been in Degrassi as well. Does she know Hodge? How old is she? She doesn't have her birthday on IMDb. This is somehow Matthew Daddario's fault. How old is she? Oh man, she plays someone with three boobs in something. I'm sure she's gonna do a great job. I'm sure everyone's gonna be great because they auditioned and they won and so that's why they're gonna be great. I don't know if you have been tracking all the filming news, but they've been filming. They've been on set. There's been pictures galore. They're all like Instagramming and Snapchatting. Harry Shum has been Snapchatting. I just recently started using my Snapchat. It's at XTMI if you wanna Follow all my thrilling life stories. And about a week ago, they teased a trailer. That they're gonna be releasing a trailer after a week of filming. A teaser is coming exclusive on ABC Family tonight. So I get so excited because I only see the teaser announcement on Tumblr. And then later on the day, watch the teaser trailer. And I'm in New Jersey at the time and I'm like, Oh my god, I'm so excited. Paul, let's go do a teaser trailer reaction. And if you didn't see that, you can click here and watch it. Biggest letdown of all time. But after that, there were two clips. Two clips from filming released on Instagram. And I don't care that they were 10 seconds because it was just so freaking cool. One of them was a clip of Jace fighting. <gasps> Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. I was just so blown away by this one stupid 10 second clip. I just got so pumped for the show. Oh. And they also released a clip of just Alex kind of like walking up near the camera. And there's some pics of Harry as Magnus. Uh. It looks awesome. Swoon, swoon, swoon for the Shadow Hunter TV show. There's Pandemonium, the Light Orange siblings. Oh, and just this coolest, most badass picture ever of Jace and Alec and Izzy. And Izzy's are in the blonde wig and all the lights in the background. <laughs> it looks beautiful. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait for like a real trailer. I can't wait for everything. I'm so excited. Look at Thomas Chase. It looks awesome. It looks like a million times Jacier than David Campbell Bauer did to me. And Alec looks like Alec and Izzy looks like Izzy. And it's just, it's so cool. I've never watched a TV show develop based off of a book series that I've already read and love. I was thinking about it and like there's Game of Thrones. I haven't read those books and I don't want to now that I watch the show. There's Vampire Diaries and I love the show, but it's really different from the books and I didn't read those books. There's Outlander. There's just, there's so many. And I've never read the books before the show has come out. I've only seen movie adaptations of my favorite books. I think it's gonna be such a fantastic, fun journey going through this show. Look, Sizzy, Sizzy, Sizzy looks awesome together. Look at her shoes, her shoes. Hashtag accurate. John Core Instagrammed a mirror selfie of himself. The fuck? The fuck is this Hodge right now? What even? What? What is this? Stop. Stop it with those muscly stop. Hodge is supposed to be hunched over and beak like. He's always old in my mind. I mean, <laughs> let's just think back to movie Hodge. <laughs> Could this be any more confusing? Look at this picture. The Institute in the hospital with Clary and Izzy and Alec. <laughs> and there's even a picture of probably a demon. So cool. This is what the Institute is gonna look like. That looks just like the Institute I pictured always. <sighs> I'm just so excited. I hope you are too. I hope you are too. I'm so glad we're getting to do this all over again. From my POV, it's going so much better the second time around. Second time's the charm. Hopefully, not third time, because we probably won't get a third chance. Please share your thoughts on the new cast, on the pictures. If you want to follow me on Twitter, I'm at XTMay. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm at XTMay as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you next time. I'm Christine. Goodbye! Hello! 
I'm Christine. If you were looking for Spew, this is not it. This is Shadow Hunter News, TV news.